time for some more unedited grammar lessons. That's right, it goes straight from OBS into a file. And I take that file and I upload it to YouTube, but don't put it in a video editor. So all of the awkward pauses are still here. <laughs> I prefer to edit my videos, but I don't really have time to do all of the editing. Considering I try to upload three videos a week, two on my programming channel slash gaming channel, and one on my conlink channel. Anyway, let's look at a lot on grammar stuff. So next, we're going to look at all these markers. So how do you say I'm buying something, or I'm selling something, or I'm going here, or I'm they're coming here, or things like that? Well, we have like one word for to buy or sell, and then we use a direction marker to indicate the direction it's going, which can be a little confusing. It's like having to remember which one is your left and right hand. You have to think of like, oh wait, okay, if I'm buying, it's coming to me. If I'm selling, it's going away. Or coming from me? From me to you. <laughs> so, basically, we don't have prepositions. We have these affixes, these suffixes, that go on the ends of words. So, for example, we have shod, which is to go or to come. We don't know without any more context. Le, and then if we're going to go to the goal, go somewhere, we are going to home, and then e, e for don't put the consonants together, and then de for the goal. Home is the goal. We are going to the home. If we are coming from the home, we would change this to de. Which honestly, it's kind of hard to tell the difference audibly. De, de. Mm. Um, or if you're giving something to somebody, you are giving it to the child. That's the goal. So here's, I gave the apple to the child, past tense. Here's past tense, here's give, I, apple object, child to. So, be erol banle do use ha with ere wa. So, that's how goal marker works. De, source, um, from me to the child. And you could add both of these to the sentence as well. Um, but for instance, I came home. Be erol shad le bethede wa came. Let's go to the home. That's the goal. If it came from the home, be erol shad le bethede wa. So, or I guess, suppose if you change this from to de to de, de to de, uh, then it would be I take the apple from the child. Also, if they sound too alike, you could use dem instead of de. Um, so for instance, be erol shad le bethedim wa, which could be pretty useful. Again, I don't verbally speak a lot of laudon, so I haven't had to do that, but if I were to make something bigger, like a cartoon or something, um, I might opt to do that and just make that part of the way I speak my dialect of laudon, my Kansan slash Missourian Laudon dialect or whatever, just because I get those all mixed up. I can't I can't really hear the difference that well. Okay, next let's look at the association marker slash the beneficiary marker. So this is the idea of um, for or with. So association when you are. Um, doing something with somebody else. So den is neutral and don is like, it's a pleasure to do so. So if we said singing, I am, uh, I am singing. Now, if you want to like request somebody else is singing with you, this is request, future tense, singing, uh, me with. I guess I could add ne in there too. But this just says, would you sing with me? It doesn't say, will you sing with me? Because there's no you in there. But we have po our lalalam leden. Uh, 
with me le den. If you're doing something for somebody else, then it's da. Um, so that's the beneficiary. So maybe I'm doing work for, I don't know, teaching students or I don't know. Uh, I did the chores for my sister or something like that. So we have um, I am singing for a friend, for my friend, and then the da ending. Um, let's see, there's also different vo forms, da for against one's will, or da is enforced or coerced, and accidentally da. I also will have a hard time if I'm, like, if for some reason we were ever verbally talking in Lada, and I'd have a hard time remembering da versus da, and bo versus bo. Because <laughs> um, I'm not used to speaking a toned language, so. Um, but yes, yeah, so if you're doing something for somebody else, you can put da at the end. Or, you know, I suppose it could also be, let's say, I work. How would you put, like, I work for gaining money? <laughs> I work for money. Uh, I don't know if that would be the correct way to use it. I'm just, you know, coming up with ideas off the top of my head. Um, I, how many more of these are there? Let's at least do this one. I don't know. We could possibly fit them all. It's only been six minutes. <laughs> um instrument marker, if you're doing something with someone else, like I'm eating with a fork, the instrument is the fork, you can mark it with that. I am eating with the fork, not the same with as before, because that would be like, me and the fork are eating, yay! It'd be, I'm eating via the fork, or, you know, with the fork in that way. So, we could say, I'm eating, there's eating, there's I, Here's with a fork, so fork is batha, and, um, oh yes, non, okay, I was confused for a minute. So, be yodle ba, batha non, batha non la, wa, uh, be yo, be, be yodle batha non wa. <laughs> um, or you can you know, continue, it's just a matter of sentence building. You can put, I am eating the cake object with the fork. So here's be yod le thujeth bathananwa. It's unfair to put the th's with the j sound so close together. That's hard. <laughs> Okay, then there's also location markers, so we have two different ones, one for time and one for place. So ha is for a location in space, ya is for a location in time. Um, so you could say, I am working at the office, here's, or past tense, worked, I, um, what is, oh yeah, ho hal is for the office, and eha separate the consonants, and at the place, ha, wa. Be erol ha le, ho ha le, ha, wa. Um, and then here's, I work at morning, I will work at morning. Future tense, work, I, um, morning, time, day, time marker. Be erol ha le, ha, sha le, ya, wa. I work during the night. Be hale na lea o be wa. So this is the during term. So you could say, um, not just I work at night, you could say I work during the night. Okay, maybe we'll just knock out all of these and then we'll look at some other ones later. If we need more examples, I can do another video. Okay, so we got four in here. We got the manner in which we do something. So um, yeah, I'm not going to compare it to Esperanto. Uh, if you know Esperanto, you can kind of think of those kio tio, uh, chio io, kia tia chia ia type of thing, but no, we're, we're not going to get into that. Um, so here's just he speaks, 
de is speak, be is third person, gender neutral, singular, that, it, he, she, whatever. Uh, be de be wa, they speak. Um, or if you want to add slow, you say speak, then the subject, and then the manner that they speak. So, be de be lo lo nal wa. Slow is lolo. <laughs> Reason, why are you doing something? So again, this would be like tiel, kiel, tial, kial, um, if you're thinking of Esperanto. So uh, this would be why are you doing something in order to. Um, she is afraid. She is afraid because of the dragon. So to be afraid, third person, gender neutral. Be hia, bewa, bewa. He, trying to think. He, e, be, he, ya, be, wa. Not an e sound. There's not an e sound in Laudan. And then because of the dragon. So, dragon is uwa mid, then the separator between consonants, and then because of. So, be, he, ya, be, o, wa, mid, e, wa, wa, nya, wa. Be, he, ya, be, o, wa, mid, e, wa, nya, wa. Purpose marker. Okay, this is maybe what I was mixing up earlier. Uh, she is studying to learn. So, for this reason, I am doing this. So we have studying. Be ulanin bewa. Be ulanin bewa. I keep wanting to like ulanin. Be be ulanin bewa. <laughs> it's hard to like. I don't know. It's a language. Just speak it. And then you try to put more emphasis on the higher tone things, and hopefully people would understand you, but no one really verbally <laughs> listens to people speak a es uh, lot on. Esperanto is a different thing. Um, okay. So, be ulanin be bedewan wa. Bedewan wa. She is studying to learn. This is learn. So, studying, she, or third person neutral, uh, learn, purpose. Wah. And then the cause marker, so to cause something to happen. So, um, I am causing the animal to eat. I am eating. Be yadlewa. But then here is to cause to eat. I animal object. So be do yadle midethwa. So, okay. Um. That might be enough for this video. I don't know how long the other videos were. What do we got? Oh, previous videos, we got 11 minutes and 16 minutes. That's fine. Let's just let's just go through this uh, so it's complete. We got this nice package. Okay. The path marker. So how are you going through something or across something or to do something? So we're going from point A to point C by going through point B. We mark point B as the path and we use mu. So here's I am coming or going. Again, we need de or de to figure out which way we're going. Be shad I am coming or going. I am going home. Be shad So home goal. I am going home from the office. To the home from the office. Be shadle ho halede bethedewa. Okay, and then here's that was with just the goal and the source marker. This is through with the through marker. I am going home through the park. Be shadle bethede heshe ho themu obewa. So, going or coming, I am home, goal, park through, um, or path marker, sorry, path marker through and then end. Okay, there's actually other words as well for these. So you put the suffix on the path and then you add the word for through or along or under. Okay, so I am going home along the river. Be shadle bethede willemu obewa. I am going through, or sorry, I'm using the river path 
and going along it. I am going home under the bridge, like by passing under the bridge. Beshad le bethere, o do mu yelwa. I am going home. I am using the path under the bridge, basically under bridge path under. Okay, so really like the grammar is different from like what I speak natively, um, but it's not impossible. It's just that you have to know the rules and kind of build up your sentences that way. Um, so yeah, that is a lot of the main stuff. And then there's kind of um, more intermediate or advanced things. Maybe I'll have some review or example video before going into this stuff. Um, but yes. So that was part two, the relations. Yay. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>